Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door, and I'm back with the second portion of covering our ring binder with fabric. So I know in the last video I told you I was going to do something a little different um, with this ring binder, and so we are, but I'm going to show you, I've just got a little glue stuck here, so I'm trying to pull that up. I'm going to show you, if you just want to cover in fabric, I'll show you how to do it that way. So I've cut a piece of fabric that fits here, and so we'll get that attached. But then in the back, on the back cover, I want a folio in the back cover. I'm into the flip outs, so. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to add a flip out folio to this back cover, okay? So, but the first thing I wanna do is the fabric on the front cover. So basically, you just take your piece of fabric and you're gonna trim it down or rip it down. I've ripped mine because I like the ripped look. And I'm just going to fray the edges a little here because I like that look, especially on like a vintage farm type journal like this one. And this one's gonna have lots of goodness in it. It's gonna have some Holly Hobby stuff, some Norman Rockwell stuff. So I'm having fun playing um, with this journal. All right, so if you just wanna do fabric, you can do this on both sides, okay? But I'm just gonna do it on the front cover. So again, we've already sanded down our cover, so it's ready for glue. So we're just gonna take our glue and our brush. And again, we're going to just brush our glue on and we're gonna cover the whole thing, okay? And you're even gonna cover up here where this fabric is folded in because you wanna make sure that your fabric sticks to not just the cover, but that fabric as well. And that will also create a seal um, so that it seals it down completely and you won't have to worry about your fabric coming loose on your cover or anything like that okay so again we're just putting a thin layer of our Aline's tacky glue on the cover and i know a lot of you already know how to do this but i did have um one of my subscribers who asked me to do a tutorial on it and it's i think it's been a while since i've done any tutorials on ring binders so i wanted to go ahead and do that for her Okay, so we're just going to get our glue really good on everything. Okay, and then we're just going to take our fabric and we're going to lay it down. And when you lay it down, make sure that you're laying it down to where it comes all the way to your ring. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. And I've left a little bit of that fringe there. And so I'm gonna line this up first. Like that. And then I can line up the rest of my fabric. So I'm just gonna kinda push that down into the little bend there. And if you need to, you can take, you know, one of your little cards. Um, well, I wasn't going to push that fringe down, but I guess I'm going to now. I actually liked the fringe sticking up, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of make sure that this is good and straight. And then we're just going to rub it into the glue. We're going to take our little card here or a bone folder or whatever it is you have. And we're going to push it down into that crease. And then we're just going to rub our fabric in good and flat. Okay, just like that. And it's very simple. It's not, um, it's not difficult to do at all. Okay, so that is what you would do on both sides, you know, if you wanted it to be all fabric. Okay, so it's very easy. And then you just want to make sure you let your glue dry really good. Okay. So on this back cover, let me just put my top on my glue because we're gonna need to do a little work to this before we glue. 
All right, so on my back cover, I want to make a folio that folds in and out, okay? And again, I've never done this before, so it's gonna be new for me, so we're just gonna try it and see how it goes. So what I wanna do is I wanna measure from the very edge of my ring all the way over to the edge here. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge, maybe an eighth of an inch in and I'm gonna mark this where I need to cut it. Okay, so we're gonna mark him right there. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's kinda hard. If you need to do it on the back, you can. Okay, so we're gonna take our trimmer and we're just gonna come to our mark and line it up. And trim, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing at the bottom. Okay, so I want to push this in as close as I can to my ring. And then I'm going to scoot it up as close to the edge up here as I want it. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to mark where I want to cut at the edge. And again, I'm coming in about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so we'll just line it up and trim that off. So we have our piece that we want as the cover. Okay, but before we put this down, I want to add the folio. Okay, so I'm gonna do this piece here as the folio. And I don't want it to have to come all the way in. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm just thinking because, like I say, I haven't done this before, so I think I'm going to need to trim this down to the same size as this. So make, make this sheet the same size as your inside sheet, okay? So we're going to mark it here. We're going to trim that down. Lined up good. Okay, now what I want my folio to do, I want the edge of my folio to be underneath here. And I want it to be able to fold closed here. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to go in an inch on this to give it a good enough spot to hold on to the edge of the folio because you're going to be using that and flipping it and turning it quite a bit. Now it might be better to use a file folder. I may do that. I think I may do a file folder and then just use this as like, you know, the decoration portion of it. So let me grab a file folder. I think I have one up here. I have a piece of one up here, but I don't think he's going to be big enough. So I need to find another file folder. Just one second. Hmm. I don't have one up here that I can use. So hang on a second and let me grab one. Okay, I have a file folder that I can use. So I'm gonna cut the file folder in half right here. Cause I'm just gonna use that top portion. And again, I am just walking through this as we go. So now we wanna cut this down to be the same size as our back piece. So we're gonna mark it right there. And trim this piece down. Okay. 
Okay. So now that's the same length as our backboard piece. Okay. So then I'm going to score this at one inch so that it gives me a good solid bend. So I'm just going to use my scoreboard here and bring it to the one inch mark. I think I might go an inch and a half. I just want to make sure that I have a good piece in there to hold it. Okay. And I'm going to fold this up and burnish it. And so the way this is going to lay is I want it to lay underneath this piece like this so that it flips out. And I think that's going to work really well. Okay. So before I glue everything down, I want to... I want to round the edge of this from where we cut it off. Okay, and then I'm thinking I might want to ink it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some decorative pieces on, on here. And some decorative pieces on here. And then we're going to have some pockets as well. Because I want some pockets in here for goodies to store. Okay, so we could cover this file folder, and I just used a file folder because I didn't have really thick cardstock paper. So I think I will do that. So I think I'm going to attach this sheet to the file folder. I'm just going to glue it down. So we're going to move this out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to grab some Uhu glue. And we're going to glue our file folder. Now I think I want this on this side of the file folder. Let's go ahead and put down our Uhu glue. I think this one's about out. Yeah, let's get a new new glue stick. And you want to be sure to glue all the way to the edge on this because I'm not stitching it. So I want it to be really good and attached. So I am being very generous with this glue. Okay, and we're going to line it up. Here at the crease and at the top. So try and line it up as best you can. There we go. And then line it up with this line. Okay, and we're just going to press it down. And I'm going to take my card here and I'm just going to make sure that it's pressed into that glue really good. Where are we on our time? Okay. And then I'm just going to trim around this. I'm not going to make you watch that because I'm trying to save time on the video. I'm having problems with my video and lately it's wanting to cut me off. 
something's going on with my phone, so hang on for me. Okay, so we have this piece on, and I want to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to put some washi tape here just to reinforce the crease on this. Um, simply because I want to make sure that, you know, the crease lasts for a while and it doesn't... Oops, sorry. I'm trying to reach my... <laughs> I'm trying to reach my washi tape, guys, and I'm too short, so I have to get it with my ruler. <laughs> okay, so let's put some washi tape here. And again, it's just to reinforce that crease, you know, because you're going to be bending it quite a bit. And I wanted to do this part before I put my paper on. And as you can see, I haven't trimmed this end yet. Um, but I wanted to put that on before we add our paper to this side so that I can go ahead and crease this and make sure that washi tape's on there good. And it just kind of gives it a little extra strength. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the paper on this side and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and added the paper on the inside and the outside of the folio portion. I didn't add it to the tab because there's no sense in adding, you know, extra bulk. Um, but I went ahead and stitched around the edge because I just love the sewing so much. And then I inked around it because I'm a terrible fussy cutter. So now we are ready to attach our flap and our back side to our journal. So what we're going to do first is we're going to attach our flap. Now I'm going to leave this piece laying down here so that I can line it up. I can line this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my flap, okay, with the glue. I say paint it. I'm going to glue the flap. <laughs> I'm going to paint it with the glue. Okay, so we're just going to get a little bit of this. And we're just going to add our paint to our flap. And we're going to add it to the bottom piece of our flap first. Okay, so then we're going to slide this in here and kind of line it up with this piece of paper that's gonna be the back cover. And we're gonna just kind of lay it down that way. We're gonna fold it over and we're gonna rub that down. Just like that. Okay, so now we can scoop this one back and rub this down really, really good and make sure we've got a really good hold with our glue. So I'm just gonna burnish it a little onto the back cover. Now we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna cover our whole back cover, just like we did with the front cover. Okay. And we're gonna cover over our file folder too because that's going to need to have the back paper attached to it. I find that when you're gluing the fabric, if you brush up um, toward the fringes, it doesn't pull your fabric so bad. And then at the top part, if you pull down, it's just a little easier to glue it that way. Okay, so we're getting our glue all over our back cover. My bulldogs are playing, so sorry if you can hear the TV, but um, he keeps it loud enough to where if I'm in my craft room, I can hear it <laughs> and hear what's going on on the game with my boys. All right, so we've got a good amount of glue on our back cover. 
And now it's time to make sure our paper is upside, I mean right side up. And then I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to push it in as far underneath my rings as I can. And then I'm going to try and make sure it also lines up with my file folder. And then we're just going to press down on this puppy. Okay. And then we're going to take our bone folder and press down this way. Sometimes I take my card and push underneath. Okay, because we want to get that crease in there. And we want to make sure it sticks down really good. Try not to have bubbles. Okay. And I'm just going to rub it down really, really well. Oops. Okay. So now we have our back cover added. And our folio so it's gonna fold in just like that and then we can um, as we go along you know as I create the journal or whatever which I've already got it halfway created um, but then I can come here and add pockets on the folio and then it'll flip out and I can add more pockets and more goodies and then a pocket in here but anyway that's just the very basics of how to do your cover now, if you don't want the folio in here, you can just put pieces of paper in here and glue them down, just like I did the fabric, okay? So, that actually gives you three different options or three different ways that you can do it. So, um, if you have any comments or questions, um, you can leave them in the comment box below. I'll be glad to answer those. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you will. And thank y'all so much for watching. We now have um, our fabric covered ring binder journal. So thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.